Alright, good luck, have fun, guys. See you after the game. We are going to be watching the game, and we have two teams of two players. In the first team, we have in a red playing the Stormguard humans. He is Madluster. Madluster with a, a hole opening with a farm. Who would have thought? Quite amazing. And his teammate is gonna be none other than Mr. Paolo in black playing the guild, uh, the black plus green clan orcs, and uh, going for a hole of two farms and a barracks. What an amazing start! Who would have thought? Quite incredible. Against them, none other than the two players that are in a green and uh, orange. In green, Mr. Kaiser. And Kaiser is also going for a two farm hole, a, a barracks, and he's adding that blacksmith on top of it because he's very special like that. And last but not least, in that game, Mr. Seuss in orange playing the Burning Blade Orcs. And uh, yeah, starting with a, a Rax, a Black Mix, two farms, and a third farm now. Incredible. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, um, in that game, in this very game that you're watching right now, guys, there is going to be a winner. And there is going to be a loser. There's actually going to be two winners and one, and two losers. The fate of which we don't know yet. But it's going to be quite incredible to see. Quite incredible to witness. We are basically watching history right now. And um, it is amazing. Absolutely great. I'm glad you guys in 2023 are here to witness the peak of Warcraft 2 gameplay, Warcraft 2 multiplayer, it is what it is. With uh, wonderful scouting here from Mad Luster, who's uh, found my spot was empty. I mean, this spot is empty too. Found the gold mine, it's like, oh, I found a gold mine, it's a two o'clock spot, there's a two, oh my god, it's amazing. And um, that's probably what he was thinking when he saw the gold mine. Uh, I, I do the vo Mad Luster voice pretty well, uh, I have a good impression on it. You can see that the 3 o'clock spot has a 3 on it, it's absolutely amazing, it's fantastic. And here we have the 4 o'clock spot with a 4 o'clock spot, it's so good. Alright, so uh, we can see the grunts here of uh, Paolo moving toward the center of the map and uh, probably gonna be uh, spreading around to try and scout to imitate what the master uh, Luster is uh, doing. And he is level 2! And we have level 3 here for Mr. Seuss. Seuss is ahead on upgrades. But that's basically it. The archer here from Madluster to make sure that this choke point is even safer than it was. And Madluster is just looking to power, I think. He just doesn't want to be uh, rushing it too hard. That archer is going to push those grunts away. They are sneaking a little bit. They will be in range if they start to go here and... Uh, Seuss will have to move back. We can see that the army of uh, of Nighttam is holding the choke point over here and uh, keeping that those those footmen at bay. Uh, Kaiser not really looking to uh, rush just yet, but chopping quite intensively toward the top side, which is the area of separating him from Red. Not sure who is going to be gaining that ground but uh yeah so trying to brute force that choke point did not work so well because the archer was there and he was like oh my god arrows i don't like arrows and, he, and he's just gonna just gonna move and uh try not to go there and he's gonna check that and he's gonna find that wood line this is a one chop so if i'm him i'm, I'm just sending a beyond that that that's what i would do but you know i'm and not everybody is like me I see this, I see this, I send two peons. I open the wood line, the back of Madluster. 
and hopefully he doesn't see me do it. I can also open it from here if I send a peon over there and I chop diagonally over that tree. Uh, I can also... Uh, yeah, but definitely that tree I would I would chop. No way, I, w I don't try it. There is no benefit in not trying it and there is a huge potential benefit if you do it. So always send that one peon. Like the only drawback is you, you miss one peon potentially uh, get one peon killed if uh, if he sees it and and attack it. and he actually chopped it himself holy moly what the one usher cannot stop this okay there, there you go okay, he lose the farm he lose the farm but Oh man, he chopped it himself. I'm so sad about this. You have no idea how sad I am about this. He's about to chop out his own base. Alright, let's have a look at Kaiser's base here, and we can see that Kaiser is still dropping throughout the top side here. Uh, he's making a, a stables. You can see that Madlester already has his own stables and he's also going Griffins actually, he's not going for something else. Uh, we can see that the fortress for Kaiser also going up pretty fast. And uh, Faolo or Zeus. That was scary. Oh, this is dropping out. This is dropping out. The lack of attention of Mad Lester to his woodline is kind of striking. But I would I would so chop this if I was Sus and Sus is about to chop out. Oh never mind. Okay, stop this. Saw it in the last minute second. This is dangerous. This is playing with fire right there. Paolo is finding the base of Sus here with his grounds. I would so chop this. Yeah, the, the archer is here. But man, imagine the benefits. Okay, we have we have uh, an alchemist lost, eventually being researched. Oh, the army is going to be surrounded. Oh, the archer is out. Go for the archer, bro. That's oh, a free kill. Oh, he's going to get killed. Are you kidding? Gonna get killed. Oh no. Oh Zeus. Oh no. What are we are we getting killed, Zeus? No. Oh no. This is so no. Oh ouch. Oh no, we are bleeding beyond no. Ah, At the same time, see we can see uh, Kaiser is attacking Paolo. He's attacking that one farm. Oh yeah, Zeus got completely outplayed here. But I mean, this, there were so many opportunities to chop this. So sad. Oh, th this chop out? Man, this chop out should... Oh. <gasps> had Zeus been watching this, in, he had the grunts over there. He, he had... Man. That would have been amazing. Uh, he's gonna lose his base. Not really doing much to Mad Lester. He's one, one ogre over here. Yeah, that's the one ogre with lost. Kaiser is not really ready to help. Kaiser has knights, but he's not sending them. Yeah, he's sending them. Ballistas cannot hit Griffins, which is very unfortunate, because you would really want them to. <laughs> but they can't. Okay, the one lusted ogre running away. Let's go, Kaiser. Let's go kill the peons, bro.
peons are dying though, left and right, which is great. But... Yeah, but the problem is Zeus is dead. That's the real problem here. <laughs> yeah, that griffin is dead. It's toast. So Zeus is basically Reap. He might be able to last a few gr uh, uh, nights of uh, Kaiser if that ogre doesn't get found. It's, it's so low on life though. But it could try and, and be useful, which it's probably gonna try to do. I mean, they do need to kill Madluster. There's no, uh, no future for that game if Madluster doesn't die. Move back, move back, oh, oh, he's gonna be trapped. <laughs> he's, right. he's buffing the, he's buffing the knights, trying to make it, uh, uh Madlasa is taking some very good fights though, for we one fight over there. Kaiser is gonna have to expand very soon. This is scouted. He doesn't see it with his peon, but this has a grant over here. So many grants everywhere for uh, for Paolo, which is very, very well. Like it's used, super useful. Susie's is trying to give the vision to, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough. I don't really like that can uh, that ballista, but he's gonna try to catch a foul and and kill the tower. If he if he does, I mean there are two towers with one ballista. It's very unlikely he's gonna manage to kill them. It's better than to try than not to try, but. Catapult to fall. Well, not expanding still. We have a mage, no expansions. Ouch. Oh, and the mage was found, and it will die. Uh, did not kill that many peons, unfortunately. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I think Kaiser and Zeus will lose, but... We shall see. I mean, Kaiser still has not lost that many peons. The problem is they are facing a lot. Oh no, it's gonna be caught. Don't run into the round of the night. Oh no, not twice! <gasps> it 
will kill at least a few peons. Three. Oh man. That's a good hit there. Love it. Love to see it. More griffins. Oh, the archers. Caught out of position. He had to build the racks here to, to catch. If you have the archers behind the racks, would have been perfect. He was greedy. It was a bit too greedy, I think. He caught the peons over here. Oh, imagine if he had actually closed this. It's just too much. GG.